Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. It was great to see the short winter storm we had last week. It's been a relatively dry winter so far, so we really needed the rain and snow. This week, we'll return to warm temperatures ranging in the 60s and maybe even the 70s. It should be sunny and a bit windy. I'll be speaking at the Chamber of Commerce annual meeting tomorrow morning, presenting the State of the City Address. The meeting will be at the Prescott Resort, and I hope to see many of you there. Police Sergeant Matt Medina was recognized for his 15 years of service to the City of Prescott. I believe we have one of the very best police departments in the state. Congratulations, Sergeant Medina, and thank you very much for your service to our city. The last time I spoke to you, I discussed my concerns about House Bill 2674 in the legislature, which was an attempt to standardize building codes across Arizona. I'm happy to report that a Strike Everything amendment was offered, establishing a study committee of 10 members, including two from cities and towns. As part of this committee, they'll hear from an economist to help with their analysis. It's my hope that some of the city representatives actually come from cities in the rural part of the state, so we don't have to continually deal with the larger cities and their overriding influence. I think the rural cities should have a chance to weigh in on this particular issue. All in all, this was good news for now. Let's see what the committee comes up with. During the last City Council study session, the City's Finance Director, Mark Woodfill, brought the annual mid-year budget report to our attention. This gives us an opportunity to learn where we stand as far as the budget goes and what we should expect in the coming months. So far this year, we've seen an overall 6.3% increase in taxable activity. Mark does not believe that this is a sustainable growth rate. He pointed out that with inflation, discretionary income in our local population as a whole is going to be more constricted in the coming year. The projections for next year's budget will reflect that. Some of the areas of taxable income have changed considerably. The largest drop is in construction revenue, which is down nearly 33 percent. That is a reduction of almost $40 million, which is very significant to our local economy. However, on the upside, personal property rentals, restaurant and bar revenue are all up. Hotels and motels are up about 50 percent, probably as a reaction to our reduced restrictions for the pandemic. 49% of our general fund comes from local taxes, so that means it's very important for us to monitor that income. The golf course and the airport both have enterprise funds, but are also subsidized by the general fund. However, if we look at the economic activity brought by both the airport and the golf course, it far outweighs the financial support coming from the general fund. Some of the best news we've received is that we expect the PSPRS unfunded pension liability to be paid off this year, probably by Christmas or even a couple of months sooner. This is five years earlier than originally projected. Not only does this benefit the city greatly, but our residents and others that shop in Prescott will see a reduction of 0.75% in their sales tax. It's not often that cities and government agencies actually reduce taxes and keep their promises to sunset special taxes like this. I'm proud of the city of Prescott for working so hard to get the PSPRS liability paid off. I promise you that we will keep a close eye on the PSPRS fund and maintain the necessary payments. Our city continues to be substantially and economically strong. Looking at the fact that we can maintain a lot of these expanded capital improvement projects, expanding airport operations and facilities, working on roads, and being able to contemplate some of the necessary vehicle acquisitions and things like that, it's just a strong reflection on our local economic activity. We appreciate knowing that our finance director is diligently monitoring our budget. Finally, we want to wish John Mergadich a very happy birthday. Tomorrow, March 1st, 2022, John will become 100 years old. John served in three major wars, 
World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and has lived in Prescott for over 50 years. John, I salute you, and thank you for all you've done for our community and our country. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you next week. <music>